being friendly in public. Today was the day. <laughs> March twenty third. Uh, March. No. March. Yes, you. Sorry. Okay. We are having. Oh. We are experiencing the twenty second. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Oh, I see. There we go. We are experiencing some technical well, difficulties, far, but it is okay. Microphone. Welcome to fifty seven. Uh, uh, I, was, I was thinking about it today. I think it might be fifty eight. Fifty eight. Fifty eight. Yeah, fifty eight. Yeah, Cool. Welcome to 58 Wholesome House. We in this thing. March uh, one fourth of the incredible entertainment collective syndicate. You know, we we get down <laughs> and dirty. You feel me? Dark. We do we do what it is we got to do to bring the entertainment to you. And I hope you are having a wonderful day and that you are surrounded by people you love. Who else we got in the house? We got Benjamin Lane. You know, it's a sound by surfer. Uh, actually, I was going to say something, but. I'll, I'll hold off on that. Actually, no, I'll say it. We out here. Man, Daylight Savings Time has been destroying me. So I truly <laughs> hope that it is doing much better for you all because it is beating me down. Ooh. And I have been pushing through for like, what, like a week now or two weeks now? It'll so, be a yeah, week, actually. Yeah, I was just like, man, this, I be chill because, you know, we trying to go to the gym early. And I'm just like, oh, man, I it's don't know. Later? I, <laughs> man. man. But uh, yeah, man, we're about to have a wonderful episode. I'm glad to be here. Who else we got? We got Wavy J in the building. I feel you on the on the daylight savings. That first day for sure had me like in super a had me super out of sorts, bro. But you know we back at it, man. You know what I'm saying another great episode, episode 58. I was thinking about that today too. I was trying to think like which episode are we on, bro? We right on the cusp of 60, and I feel great about it. Just Zachary today, man. I got on a pea coat. Feeling like coming back season. Business drink, casual. So I'm just coming here real business casual, man. Business casual, Zach. But we yeah. like back season, Drake in a pea coat. On me. I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> finna put up, you know, what? Man. 20 points, five blocks. Man, I'm finna put up like the best track list you ever heard. There you go. <laughs> 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 There you have he it. He said, I'm going to tell my side of the story. <laughs> <laughs> you already heard my uh, my producer tag on my phone. Oh, yeah. No I already got it prepared. Listen, incredible. <laughs> Actually. Um, but I just wanted to kick off today with something that's just been sitting on my soul just a tad bit recently. Um, I know, well, first of all, clearly, as you all can see, we are all gentlemen. Uh, we all identify as males. And Uh-oh. something that comes with that is, of course, your natural societal norms of what that means and what masculinity is supposed to look like. Now, all of this is extremely subjective. All of it is social con- socially constructed. So as individuals, we all you know, do have the ability to determine to what degree we want to abide by said norms. Um, and it's I could easily just be like, oh, Going it's pretty all hard. fake. I'm just blah, 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 blah. But like, there's no denying that the, that societal pressure is still there. And so I definitely still find myself, although I am very comfortable and confident and secure in my identity within my you know, sexuality and gender, I still am naturally like, I feel like I have to abide by stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't push certain boundaries when it comes to uh like those things that i wear or whatever like Anklets. i can only t- i can only take it so yeah, far you know i got some stories <laughs> yeah exactly Ooh, dangly no. earrings man like all that and Not so about those either. and it's like you may see on social media you know like the the list people <laughs> have started to make lists of things that like men can't enjoy <laughs> Not yeah, you know it's like you can't order dessert when you oh, <laughs> <I got the laughs> dessert was the first one i was thinking <laughs> you know just like stuff like that <laughs> And so it's just as a man, why are you? Yeah, exactly. There's a whole list of that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to ask, like, what are some of those things that you wish that you could enjoy a little bit more comfortably? Uh, Because I I think we're all kind of in the same boat where, like, we're all pretty confident and comfortable and secure in certain things. But like, there's still like, you know, when it's too far, even though this is all societally or socially constructed, like it's still fake 
but it's still like I have to abide by it. And if you need some time to think, I can t- start with yeah, one of ahead. my things. All right, so one of the things that I truly, truly, truly wish <laughs> that I can enjoy a little bit more as a man is sprinkles, okay? Now hear me out, right? Some, some Jimmy <laughs> out, some Jimmy. <laughs> so sprinkles. Let's let's first, you know, put some respect on the sprinkle, okay? Because sprinkle is such a subtle enhancement to a dessert. I feel like if if we're talking <laughs> ice cream, you know, you might want okay, I want some vanilla ice cream, but I don't want to go too crazy. So if you step it up and say, let me get chocolate chip, that's too much sometimes. Because now this is change. This is altering the entire experience of my ice cream. Because when I get a chocolate chunk or, or a chip, it's changing the taste. The 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 flavor, nice. you know, across my palate is completely different. The flavor All profiles right. are altering. Remy, goodness However, gracious. However, a sprinkle, <laughs> a sprinkle is more so just a texture kind of thing. It still tastes like vanilla. It still tastes yeah. like vanilla ice cream. And so That's it's like, okay, now I get a little bit of crunch. Just spice it up a little bit. But I'm still just chilling with just some vanilla ice cream. The the area in which the this actually arises more often. Actually, shout out to whatever recent day was where Dairy Queen was doing free cones. It was random to you too. The first day of spring. What? Yeah, yeah. Was it wasn't. It was it random to you as well? I, I never know. I didn't know that they. did I didn't that know Dairy did. Queen did that. I was like, is this a new thing? Because like exactly. the Blaze Pie Day, how we were talking about that. We know about that. I know about that. Year. that Seven Eleven exactly. get a free smoothie. Seven Eleven you know free. That. Yeah, exactly. I, I didn't Slurpee. know about the free ice cream thing, but when I seen, it, I'm like, that's cool. That came. That just came out. Yeah. D- no, I, D- I, DQ, way too late. DQ just dropped that holiday. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, but it's like sweetest <laughs> sweetest day in 2013. No, my parents used to celebrate sweetest day. I don't know if it started in 2013 for them, but yeah, I I knew of sweetest day for a while. Okay. But um, the one area that this comes up in my life pretty often in terms of me wanting to, to go for sprinkles is actually when it comes to donuts. OK, so like if I go to Dunkin Donuts, like I'll get like a little sandwich and I also want a donut, you know, on the sweet. Right. Mm-hmm. So um, I try to go for that, that chocolate frosted with the sprinkles. OK, okay. Like with the with the sprinkles. OK. And again, it's not changing. <laughs> so the, you have two options at Dunkin Donuts. You got a chocolate frosted donut and you also have a chocolate frosted with sprinkles. So some of the things <laughs> that I've noticed <laughs> is I, c- I only have the security and confidence to ask for it one time. So if I say my order and they say, huh, and they say, huh, you say the chocolate one, <laughs> my answer has to change on that second one. No. And now I'm just chocolate frost. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, they say, what you want? The chocolate frost. And I'm just like, all right. Huh? And then I go ahead and get my chocolate frost. And now again, because it's not changing the donut too much, it's still like, all right, I'm still going to enjoy the donut. But unfortunately, because I understand what went on in my brain. It's like the experience of me eating this chocolate frosted donut is now just like sprinkled with shame instead of actual sprinkles. Man, like now I'm like, I know that I could have gotten the sprinkled donut, but I am weak. <laughs> <laughs> and so it just is like now I can't even enjoy this donut <laughs> at the same extent. And it all comes back to this. The fact that like, again, those societal pressures <laughs> are holding me back from getting the actual donut that getting I that want. Getting that sprinkles, man. Man. <laughs> 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 and it's just like, why? Like, why is it? I don't even have to, like, no one could. I might not have anyone in the car with me or anything. Mm-hmm. It's literally just me and the employee. They don't even, I might have a kid in the backseat. They don't know. But I, I just, something in my brain is like, no, nah, you already tried it once. <laughs> you already tried the sprinkles once. You can't this try is... it a second time. And so, yeah, that's kind of one of my main examples. I'm sure there's plenty more. No, um, that's very funny because I get. Strawberry donut with sprinkles every single time. The I get sprinkles a donut. does something, yep. something to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck. Oh. You crazy as fuck, Shardy, for real. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's but, crazy, dog. No, no, I'd be asking too. I'd be like, yep, I need that one. <laughs> mm-hmm. you, do you say it or do you just point at it? Oh, no, I say it. Okay. Yeah, the strawberry with uh, uh, sprinkles. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? You heard me. What they did hear you Damn on right. the, what they heard you on the sprinkles on the donut and they just like looked at you crazy. Like, See, no, sometimes right, they when like, they like ask for a second <laughs> time, I'm like do they did they actually not hear me or did they just not believe that did they, I as a grown man? Again. That's what I'm saying. Like, nah, ain't no way he just asked for the sprinkles. Like, let me. <laughs> you sure? Like, <laughs> you're like, having a real moral dilemma. That's what I'm like, saying. I can't give you for it. I'm like, bro, this, do not make me do. This. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the me. line. The line building up. Bad people sitting <laughs> <Right>. there. <laughs> now it's becoming a whole thing, bro. You're like, all right, bro. You're really, you really ruining this for me. <laughs> yeah. No. yeah, it's a, it's a pretty common dilemma for me personally. I'll admit. Oh, I'm trying to think of the things that hold me back. 
Okay, y'all can uh, keep thinking. Let me go ahead. Go crazy. I was going to say. I got like four of them. Go ahead. Drinks. I be thinking. Oh, that's exactly what I was going to say. We're it. on the same page. I figured you. I figured you <laughs> thinking. Yeah, bro. Listen, don't bro. you dare order that lemon drop. Yo, 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 yeah, can no, no. let me no. drop. I be saying, I be on, bro. People How dare on you drink stories. something that tastes good. I'm saying, bro. <laughs> strawberry lemon drops. Uh, I seen somebody with a blueberry lemon drop. I'm, I'm trying to see what that's <laughs> I'm about, trying to see what that's like. But blueberry lemon drop. It's like, I'm I don't want an old fashioned. Exactly. Man. A gin and I love tonic. an old fashioned. With a gin and tonic. They like, look. But I'm like, sometimes that's not what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I just want a nice little, I don't think little, little mixed drink. Job. You know what I'm bro, saying? I'm going to go even harder than you. They bro. like, you're not going to get no shots, bro. You ain't going to, where the right. hell at? No. Right, you're a man. <laughs> drink a beer. Drink a, exactly, <laughs> bro. Definitely and, with the brewski. Just, just give me the water. Getting, I'm not getting no brewski either, bro. Like, I like wine coolers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro <laughs> you I'm can't, telling you. You can't be <laughs> trapping up no wine coolers, <laughs> bro. <laughs> That's some not, some said it's not right for the mics hard, bro. Bro, you can't do it, bro. It's like I be in there, I be like, <laughs> they make their own. They bring it out in a juice pouch or something. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, you want to be childish? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody, I, somebody. I be in the store like, let me get a, uh, let me get that, let me get that hypnotic. They talking about what? Oh. <laughs> somebody had, had, give me, the give me the, the Hennessy, man, man bro. Damn, that too. They're like the oh hand out. God. Talk about, let me get the uh, Alize. The <laughs> they talk about Alize. <laughs> all right, they talk about, this, they talk about this ain't the Parkers, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about damn, bro. Sorry, give me some Patron. Give me some Patron. <laughs> that, they talk about, that's what I'm talking about. Extra yes. Nejo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Extra <laughs> Nejo. <laughs> all of it. Since I was in high key, not going to oh serve God. you. Ooh, you know, like, and it's uh, crazy because I used to be like you, but bro, now I, you, I'm just a deep monster. And I'm a monster, but only because of societal norms. <laughs> only because right. it made me only this way. It made me this way. <laughs> I didn't used way. to drink beer, but now look at me. I'll drink a, a gremlin. <laughs> yeah, monster. <laughs> ah, a monster. I'm about to drink a Heineken. A Heineken. Right. What, am, what do I look like? I got kids. What's going on? Exactly. I'm saying, I'm like, what am I? I don't think that's actually the thing. You got, you got <laughs> right the I ain't that stressed yet. <laughs> like, I'm feeling real interested. I am. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ha, ha. What else you, you said? That was one of the four. Yeah. Um, I the I the leftovers thing too. works for me, uh, for sure. But I don't give a shit because I pay for the meal anyway. What you mean? You You're men not are not to, allowed to take to leftovers, leftovers home. Absolutely not. Yeah, You're supposed to eat it oh, all. Oh, take them home? Come on, yeah. You can't finish your plate. Man. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. I ain't going to lie, bro. Some other man who can't finish his plate. Like, what else he does? But I'm taking I'm taking somebody else's plate. I'm talking about me. Y'all can eat that. But no, that's oh one that you know, they that can definitely too. get me on that one. But I, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> I care. I might warm this up for later. Listen, I'm probably going to eat it as soon as I get home, probably. That's how it is. Something, <laughs> about, something about that drive home be like, well, man, I'm I, can, starving. I can eat a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got a little more, more, more room now. Exactly. Man. I was going to say, uh, like, fantasy TV. What do you mean fantasy? Like, so like Team uh, Wolf. Like, okay, yeah. Like yeah. I, I banged with Teen Wolf when it was on TV, but I couldn't say that out loud. I hear a lot of good things about say Vampire that Diaries and all Bro, that kind of stuff. All, yeah. all of that kind of stuff, like all of that kind of like is it's fantasy TV, but it's also like a little a little girl, a teenage girl's teenage drama about some men. Yeah. So then it's like all of those. It's like even when they do got a good story, and I'm like, man, my niece be watching this. Man, I'm gonna tap in. You mm-hmm. know, what I'm saying now I'm on season four. They talking about, dang, what you be watching? I'll be like. I can't even tell you. I just be watching hoops, man. I just be watching right. basketball. <laughs> can't even say it because I'm like show watching Gossip Girl. As soon as I say that, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> they tell it's the Ooh, Golden Girls. Not by marathon. choice, bro. Oh, I was on the I was on the Jersey Shore for a minute. Too. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but you uh-huh. can't say that. Like, I used yeah. to judge people to watch Jersey See? Shore. See? I feel bad about it too because I think I've seen a couple episodes now and I'm like, oh, it's not as that bad GTL, as I thought, bro. But yeah. as a man, as a man, you're watching Jersey Shore. Uh, <sighs> I'm supposed to be watching Power, bro. That's a little deep. <laughs> right. I was watching that earlier, so that's why that was easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is there? One thing for me is definitely music, like especially, but more so like at an actual function or something. You know, I listen to wherever I want to at any point, even mm-hmm. if it's in my car or whatever. Hmm. I listen to all types of stuff, but like if you're at like a party or you know a function of some sort, it's like you can only go so hard, or you have to do it in a in a masculine manner. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I might know the. Perfect example, uh, don't play with it. Lola Brooks. I know that song word for word. Wow. If that come on when we out, I can only say the ad libs, bro. Like, <laughs> like I am not allowed to say a single one of those so words. You got a bag. Like, <laughs> you hold it back. You are like, You could just do a little, you know, a little bounce or whatever. <laughs> Sheesh, bro. <laughs> I can act out this song, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like I've been saying that Gorilla Man, I am I don't care. 
I don't care, bro. I am bumping that. Oh, okay. you, in, I'm, you in the club, that. bro, it's in there, but I'm in there dancing to it, bro. I'm in there. <laughs> <laughs> but any other song, like by like a turn female artist, like usually it's like I'm just I, even if I I don't usually know the lyrics anyway. Yeah. But if I did, I'd probably be I'd be like, I don't know. That city girls try to be like, well, Lil Lil Yachty did write it though. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man. Man. Low key. Dang, I do got something for y'all. Did you y'all got another one? Um, I'm trying to think of other things to hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> um, you had said earlier about the dangly earrings, but I don't really, I can't really get with that. I, I, I like the hoops, and I don't really care what nobody say about that, truthfully. Mm-hmm. But right, so when I seen the hoops with the cross, I was like, hold on, nah. I love cross necklaces. I tried it out, I didn't like it, but man, the the, <laughs> the, 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 the two weeks I was trying it, man, I was getting some dirty looks. Oh. Uh, I'm oh, talking about hold on. Uh, <laughs> You know what I mean? Down. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. It's always the calm down. <laughs> calm down. You're doing too much. <laughs> but yeah, for that. Talk remember talking about the anklet, bro. bro the oh, anklet, another, bro. I'll say you know? enough. Well, I'll say it's kind of better now, but I feel like for a while, like length on shorts. Like I feel like people like oh yeah, off, like the short shorts. Short Israel, shorts. They are like, everywhere right now. Exactly. Man. So I feel like it's not as much, but definitely in the past, like definitely, I've heard. I felt like. I was never like too that. big, you know. Like I don't think I was ever like, dang, I wish my shorts could be a little bit shorter. No, like, I, I was. was, I was yeah. if, if, you, and, uh, if you're thinking that, your shorts short enough. Right? Facts. No cap. You're definitely a great one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no cap. Af- after. Um... Oh, that's the actual. Doom. <laughs> Doom. Doom. That's his Once again, ass. cheese, ladies and gentlemen. Oh me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else do I? I want to say like ballroom dancing, but like I I haven't got judged for that. People mess with ball. What do you mean? I don't know. I just feel like if I just start, start doing a, a salsa, like it's like, all right, what are you doing? Like, why are you swinging? You're kind of weird. You're kind of swinging. <laughs> I mean, swing it, it just depends on if you're good or not. <laughs> and if I'm you, saying, I'm about, not, it's something about a man like ballroom dancing. If you like, why don't, really you just, why don't you just nod your head and just enjoy the music? <laughs> That's something that they would say. <laughs> <is it not? laughs> step to the left. Step to the right. Don't write too much. Don't do nothing else. Like, like, <laughs> is this not a little dirt video? Like, keep mm. the program. <laughs> 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 but uh. Yeah, because I took a class when I was, like, in the fifth grade. Oh, okay. And I just... That really stuck with you, huh? Yeah, on me. And then it's like, I would love to take a class now, but I'm just like, you know? <laughs> I'm like, you know, it'd be kind of weird. I don't know if I should enroll. Sorry, man. I'm talking about, yeah, what you going to? Yeah, I'm going to go to my dance class today. I just couldn't say that out loud. This is be, real. I'd be hiding. Michael Jordan. Didn't Michael Jordan do ballet? No, 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 you gotta, no. <laughs> literally. <laughs> you got <gotta, laughs> to I want it to be a, a basketball. <laughs> right. Shut up I want it dribble. to be a drama geek. But no. we, that my school didn't offer that. So. Also, yeah. did not care. That was a vibe too. <laughs> that was a vibe indeed. Well, yeah. we were both drama drama kids for a little while. Yeah, I, Shout out I was theater, a high school man. musical cuz I couldn't tell people that in the sixth or seventh grade. Dang. If I say that now, they probably still be like, uh, they talk about how how Hannah Mont- I mean, <laughs> how Hannah Montana. <laughs> yeah. How how <laughs> high school musical? I sad. also watched Hannah Montana. So on the scale really from place. Sweet, no, I thought you was gonna say. Oh. I talk about. I remembered the cameo <laughs> she had at the end of High School Musical too. <laughs> Yo. On the scale from Sweet Life on deck to Zoe 101. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Oh, Say, t- man. T- I was rooting <laughs> for <laughs> Chase, bro. I was rooting <laughs> for him. Oh, bro. I wanted him to win so bad. It didn't he matter, bro. I, I was, remember when the... Uh, I was locked in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Regardless. When the phone dropped into the uh, thing, he was vibrating. I was, I was like, no. No, you have to tell her. Or, or when, yeah, exactly. When she was about to leave and he was just doing this thing, and Michael's like, What are you doing? He's about, She's about to leave right now. It's about. Hey, Man, I don't hey, even care. I don't bro. even care, bro. Hey, I, I understand him on a deep level, bro. That's how it be sometimes. He was going through it at PCA, bro. I can't. Hey, bro. Really foreshadowing the future of his life. No yeah, bad. actually. But yeah, if you are a male out there listening, it's okay. Live your bro, life. Bro. How Be you, want you to. bro. Wear your dangly. If you want to eat a lunchable, you go get a lunchable, bro. Like that's a rare, that's a regular lunch. I don't know if that's masculinity See, right. versus femininity. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's more of an age. <laughs> that's a right. snack. That's an age. That's a man age. So, Somebody gonna be so, forty, feeling it like, bro. I'm about to give me that piece of lunchable. So if you bro. see a woman eating a lunchable, you gonna you gonna be like, what are you doing? At this big age, absolutely. I'm not. I'm gonna be like, well, okay, meat crackers. You going crazy? 
But if I'm if I pull out a lunchable, you <laughs> like crack. that little crack, ass crunch bar you got over there. That's facts. Too. That's Meaty crack. Come on, man. Insane. What is that even doing for you? <laughs> what you on a diet? I'm talking about bro. I just like lunchables, bro. Yeah, everybody, lunch, uh, everybody is so like obsessed with charcuterie all of a sudden. Man, and it's it's so. I'm just like, where did this come from? Is this a TikTok thing? I don't like, even like happened? one for real. Let's not even let's not even go there. I'm just saying. <laughs> shout out, you know, shout out my Stella though. I bang the Stella. And all those are good. But there are other wines out there as well. I'm just saying. <laughs> Joe Colds. And not all of them are sweet. And that's okay. That's all. That That's my PSA. That's it. <laughs> In case you needed to know. This is how you can really tap into these charcuterie boards. Actually. In light of our uh, conversation uh, prior to the podcast, we were talking about uh, Call of Duty. It really just had me thinking about like some of the most rage filled party chats that I've ever been in, and just like, just like the arguments that have taken place. Like people have really like almost like lost friend. Like people have lost friendships in party chats. Yeah. So now I'm wondering, like, uh, what game were you playing, or what like what do you vividly remember from a time that like things just got really heated on a video game party chat? All right, easily. I am playing Modern Warfare 2. It's not Search and Destroy, but it's like veteran just multiplayer. Uh, okay. And it's, it's game chat. I'm not even in a, a party, a party. with just, friends, bro. Just dolo. Just with randoms. And I'm I'll getting, mute my mic when I'm on that. And I'm getting annihilated, bro. I was the last kill and everything. They said, bro, why do you even play the game? Why are you even on? Whose kid is this? <laughs> Bro, and the other yeah. issue is it was yeah, playing through the speakers here. on my TV, too. Oh, Man. no. So I'm just like, yo, I can't escape this. Yeah, did you have company? <laughs> nah, it was just me. But I was sick, bro, because I'm like, I swear I'm not this bad, bro. It's not my fault. I was I the mean, last Stop kid. playing with me. Come right, come on, bro. Come on. But y'all also know how notorious the Mind Warfare 2 Chats could be. Right? I thought oh, yeah, they were absolutely. gonna hit you. I thought they were gonna hit you with them, man. I earned this and wear pass <laughs> after this game. I thought you were gonna say so crazy. Absolutely not. Like, oh, no, <laughs> he said Modern Warfare too because I used to, bro. I don't know if I recover from Let that. Let it fly. They was going hard, bro. <laughs> man, I was nothing I could do about it. I'm sitting there looking. I'm sitting there on my lap on the on the home computer talking about how do I find people's IP address. Oh, from, man, <laughs> where is he? Scandalous at? searches, bro. <laughs> Oh my god yeah, they're frustrated How bro. do you hire a private investigator in a murder <laughs> right. How to make someone disappear Dark web, dark web, <laughs> dark web All I have is a gamer tag be like that. Is this enough? <laughs> be like that episode of Atlanta Like oh I just ruined I just ruined their life Man Oh my god, That gosh. was a great episode Like yeah man No that was an insane episode It was, twist. It was, it was like, quite dang, the bro. twist It was like you think you went too hard It's just like <laughs> No, no. <Nah. Nah. laughs> like, I think I need to go back to therapy Yo yeah, no literally bro That was a great episode Or Another one. This is one that John knows for sure. Uh, in the GTA lobby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they be going crazy in the GTA lobby. Bro. bro, and this is during quarantine. All right, so we got all the time in the quarantine, world. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. It's not even a tense moment. I just got to mention it off the love, bro. Oh, my God. Bro. Yo, so we're doing some heist where you have to... <sighs> You're, you're thinking of robbing a bank. You have to fly around in a plane for yeah, a Yeah, it was a bit. lot. Like, we had to, you had to get a truck. Yeah. Like, you had to kill, like, these guards that were guarding, like, this little truck you had to get. There was someone that had to uh, fly this helicopter. Dog. Oh. Someone had to fly this freaking plane just around just and around, around the world, and bro. Around, bro. And I'll set the scene. It's me, John, Taz, and Sean, right? Man. All right. So, <laughs> the first time, I think. Maybe it was Taz that was in the plane for a little bit. And he yeah. flying around, whatever, whatever. We lose the mission, cool. This next time, Sean ends up doing it. And I don't know if he was just playing a different game <laughs> or what. But I'm like, bro, where are you? Where's the plane? <laughs> He's like, bro, I'm coming. He's not. <laughs> He's oh, on the yes. other side of the freaking map, bro. <laughs> we are literally fighting for our lives because the other the other people have to, like, drive around and, like, you're, you're yes, being bro. shot at. Mm. You have to, like. Uh, keep somebody safe or you kidnap somebody or something we're like bro start to feel like real life yo we're like, like we this need is you so right disjointed. now <laughs> we had a plan oh, yeah, somebody man. called somebody called him or something bro or are you talking about that when um uh, or that the, as well bro. oh yeah i don't know if that was that same time but it was definitely in that same span of time but at one point i don't know if i was the one flying the plane or driving or something but shine like <laughs> 
and I love him, bro. But he like he <laughs> left he left out to do something, bro. And I'm like, what are you doing, bro? We are just going around doing this mission for an, an additional like 20 minutes. Nah, bro, it was like 40 minutes hey, to an hour, bro. That. I kind of saw it. Yeah, it was it was a bit. Just bro. leave. We need you. We were we like, what are you, you. doing, <laughs> bro? He would not come back, bro. This is not like a rage story. This is just like a story that just I just thought of that is in relation to my gaming days. Oh. Uh, me and the guys, we got catfished, bro, <laughs> for no reason. So it was this dude named Drew that we used to play with just all the time. You know how it was back then. You just like come across people and mm-hmm. you just build like those connections. And now this is just like the homie that lives who knows where, <laughs> who like knows? Iowa Nebraska. or something. Don't we never really they talked are. about but where he that's, stayed, that's but your exactly. dog, right? And so exactly. um, this kid was like, I think he was like maybe a few years younger than a, like a year or two, like nothing crazy. But um, yeah, we all just like were playing together for years. I'm talking Call of Duty, Minecraft, like everything. Like We were be playing every day. And I remember... Um, he I, I don't know we some you know them some of those nights where you're like y'all not even playing nothing y'all just in the party just chilling just yep. kind of talking it was one of those nights uh, everybody just kind of kicking it man good old days <laughs> and um i think at some point it came up where uh he was just like oh man i want to add you guys on facebook or whatever and we're just like okay cool like whatever so we added to or adam in the picture is this kid that's like super buff it lo- it's like a it looks like a real picture or whatever um and it's but like the guys posing with this shirt off or whatever we're just like oh okay like we <laughs> not, in the gym yeah okay. we're just like oh like we you know that that's what's up like, like we're chilling like okay cool we're we're friends now or whatever <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what happened like i don't know how we discovered that it wasn't him down the mm-hmm. road but like if it came out that it wasn't him and we had like a whole intermission because we were like, bro, who you are, are you? Us? First of all, why, like, why is this so important to you? Like, you don't have <laughs> to be gotta, cute why, for us. Like, why are you keeping up this image for us? Bro? That's what I'm saying. You <laughs> ma- like you made a Facebook account. <laughs> <laughs> like all the pictures are. On this. Why are you catfishing other guys? You play video. First of all, we're like 14. We all ugly. And two, like, oh, we're not trying oh. to go on no dates, bro. Like, exactly. we, just, you just, we just play Call of Duty. We don't even hang out in real life. <laughs> <laughs> like why was it this important to you uh funny enough he actually follows me like the real one on instagram yeah like he found me like probably like maybe six seven months ago and he it, follows it, is he what you thought no I, like we found out what he looked like before that yeah we found oh, out okay. like years back and he was you know he's a little fat white kid but it's like that's what i assumed you look like bro like, oh. <laughs> you ain't even like we didn't care we were already still friends right. with you when Facts. i thought you we looked like, like you, a fat white kid right Facts. When I thought you looked like the computer screen in your that's avatar, that's like yeah. we was boys. Honestly, low key. Mines will be uh something with two K or Madden. It's two K. It's Damn. definitely two K. Okay. Um, it was me and my boys, man. We was on we was on the we was on the two K grind. That's back when I was trying to like win a two hundred fifty thousand dollar like online prize <laughs> uh, senior <laughs> year. Yeah, yeah, but like I'm really going hard. Like I'm in the qualifiers. I'm winning matches i'm like man i'm like 11 and 1 like i'm really busting ass like, i'm really him man talking about bro i do this 2k shit <laughs> <laughs> so we play. it's not a game to me man literally bro so i was like i'm i'm really like when i'm on the game bro everything else is secondary honestly oh, it's like my, wow. my my man sent the chat hey bro we finna get on 2k bro whatever i'm doing bro anything dang all right i'm gonna get on the game <laughs> Anything. 2K can't have you like this. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, we on there, bro, and we just keep playing like the wreck, bro. Like, mm-hmm. So the wreck is where like anybody can team up with anyone. You mm-hmm. don't have to be on a set team. You just play you know, five randoms against five randoms, but you obviously can invite your party. Mm-hmm. Then there's pro, uh, pro-am, which pro-am. is you have to make a team, you have to design the jerseys, uniforms, and have to play together. So then, uh, like, we always going on there, and we just busting ass in wreck. Like, oh. I mean, we're just like 250 and like 17 as a unit. Oh my god. Like whenever we had all four of us, well four of us and we always have a random. But yeah. when we had a fifth, we'd be going crazy. So then like we get to the point <laughs> some 17 losses when it was just a four. Man. Right. <laughs> but five undefeated. Uh we get like, you know, like 2K is like a season, you know, cuz yeah. the new one come out. So it's like when it's getting to like March, you know, I'm getting antsy. I'm like, "All March. right, bro. This is so cool that we are so good in the randoms." category i'm trying to play ranked i'm trying to play against the real people okay, and then everybody just like bro i don't know bro like they be sweaty in there blah 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 i sound like they duck and smoke bro so it's just one, <laughs> and one thing i don't do i don't duck, duck no smoke, smoke bro i'd rather right. go get my 
ass handed to me in the in the in the, in the pro am they like right. I mean, truthfully, that's the only way to get better, though. Yeah, really? exactly. Because you're playing against six year olds who are making five foot eleven power. You playing forwards. against you playing against brown, <laughs> you playing against brown shirts. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I'm red. saying. Honestly, like they they they're matchmaking like they had uh, yeah. levels even so. They're supposedly our level, but we're we're a world oil machine. We need to be playing against other people who are communicating actively on Discord or whatever. Mm. So then it gets to the point we go in, we go in there, we play one game, we lose. Everybody always hop off. We just hop off. So one day I just got tired oh of that gosh. shit, bro. I'm just like, bro. We are we we are, <laughs> we're good GM. at beating right? little kids, and we just sitting here happy about it. We just go on here and go five and oh my god, we suck, bro. And I'm tired of playing this shit. And I don't know why I bought it it's, again. If we were just gonna go in here and just play against some sixty-five year olds, children, yeah, like are we gonna go play the good people or not? Then that's like, crazy. Now we in a, a full-blown argument. Oh my about gosh! It. Everybody's like throwing blame about like why we be losing in the pro game. What? Games. You suck at dribbling. You can't shoot. We don't got nobody helping rebound. You everybody suck at. You start defense. bringing in real life stuff, <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't even got a job. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be out here training, bro. Right. You should be way better. <laughs> Facts, and then I it just went to a Yo, real personal place. Like, how you not getting no money or no buckets? What's going on? <laughs> no, and you don't have a girlfriend to tell you to get up the game. You're Bro, just on here. You have just nothing sucking. holding you back, but you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we was better than this. <laughs> but yeah, so then like after that, like we fell out like the like this five temptations. We ain't never played two K twenty again. Wow. Dang. And since then now it's two K twenty three. And then it's just divided now. Now it's like mm. two people play by themselves. One doesn't own the game That's anymore, crazy. and the other dude play by himself. Where they are now? Yeah, man. I would definitely say the Halo though, bro. There'll be one that'll be like somehow made it to the league. <laughs> this is, uh, plays on the Lakers. So, so it's just one outlier, just cold right. as ever, bro. <laughs> Who actually a professional basketball player making bro. millions of dollars? He talking about. See, I told you, I don't need this two K, bro. Two K need me. Exactly. No, he yeah. talk, now he's, he's, he's talking in about the game play, now. Now he's talking about play me. He right. talking about use me. <laughs> hey yo. Exactly, bro. But I was gonna say, yeah, the Halo for sure, bro. Definitely used to be Rage, and specifically the Halo Reach, bro. Oh, shout my, out Reach. Shout out my cousin Keenan, bro. We was in a clan and everything, bro. And I and my level shout got out up. Clans. The clan. My, the clan. Um, what you talk about is that, the that clan. don't that don't feel right, man. I'll be honest. Oh, the little, the different man. I and I, you know, it's crazy. I knew nothing <laughs> of it until he put me hip to it. Shout out, what was it like KSI or something? I couldn't mm-hmm. even tell you what it, what it stood for. But we was um. What was your clan tag? <laughs> we had some wild ones. Um, I forget what my um. I don't even remember. Yeah. I couldn't even tell you what my tab was even back then, or even like my game tab, whatever. But <laughs> we was bro. Oh no, Zach, what was yours, bro? Oh, oh no. no! What? He said he can't say it. It's it has a, to be atrocious. <laughs> oh it's, it's, no! It's very on brand for me. Oh But man, no. it would just it would just reveal a side of me that is just <laughs> unfit for it's unsafe. Come on, no. <laughs> can't say that on camera. Yeah, can't yeah, say yeah. That on Keep camera. that tucked away, bro. Ooh, we. <laughs> this but is for FBI. That's it ends, it ends in a Y, and it's a word I used to always say. Hmm. But you know your clan tag only can be four letters. Yeah, I know what you say. <laughs> so it's not five; it's only four. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know Jesus what it is, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy, bro. It's a type of beef <laughs> or chicken or pork. What? <laughs> you don't know what it is, man. No, I'm confused. What you talking about now? Is it, it? What are all those? Um, meat. <laughs> <laughs> It was just meaty. <laughs> it was only four letters. <laughs> it ends in a Y. Why are you so concerned about this? What? Bro, that's my, funny. My clan tag was meat. <laughs> that's actually insane, bro. He's <laughs> on the world. No give it, give it up free work, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go get this bro words. We are got beat by ass. meat. <laughs> you got beat by meat. <laughs> <laughs> beat by <laughs> I know you was cooking with that one, bro. I know they was like, "Hey, man, let him cook." <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, bro. Like who is this meat guy? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about BDO ass. 
you sent in a voice message to my girl. <laughs> get owned. Get no, owned. No, the right. most, that, bro, that was the worst part of Xbox, bro. Them voice messages. When someone really whooped on you, bro. And, and then they be get, so loud. The, the mic clipping. They, <laughs> <laughs> you trash. Don't get trash, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, you should I, cut the game off. Why are you I taking your time this, out of your bro. day to I do this? I 360 no scope you. You like, are you serious? Like, oh my like, God. I'm, like I'm about to. <laughs> you see a replay, wrote, <laughs> bro? You hurt. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you ever got game embarrassment? Like somebody watching you play oh, and you're yeah. losing. Oh, yeah. Especially in like search or something where they can spectate afterwards and they see in your aim, they see in everything. You're just like. Oh. You and like, your. You're not even good for uh, real. Yeah. That final kill can be ridiculous, bro. Especially when you miss the first four shots. They're talking about oh, he suck. I let <laughs> him kill me. Oh, he's terrible. Bro. I let him kill me. <laughs> but then he'd be like, chill out. It gets better. Relax, relax. Yeah, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn around and get a bloodthirsty. Right. <laughs> no way to see. Play it. That's funny. Straight fluke. Like three, four people just came. A complete accident. Like, there was no skill involved. You were spraying. Yeah, right. They all just right next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> just happened. Yeah. About Two I of them was already weak. I finally learned the spawn spots. You mm-hmm. know exactly where he about to be. That's funny. Come on, you right here. But Halo used to get sweaty for sure. You definitely was raging to like some SWAT where it's just like. Oh, SWAT was the best. That was It was my favorite for sure, but it was. Oh That's my how God. you learned how to get a headshot every single time. Every single time, bro. Every single time. I miss the DMR. I don't think they even, they had it in the new Halo, but that was like my favorite gun in Reach. Oh, that's a good one, bro. I definitely need some Halo in my life. Um, Yeah, and I guess I'll just take next one. Uh, I've been thinking, or really, I was, I, thinking about it. I had asked for a topic today. About it. Ask who? Uh, Kiara. Okay. I asked, um, you know, hey, I'm about to go on the show or something, you know. Well, what's a good question for the, what the, the house? Pe- what do people want to know? What do people want to know? And she has said, um, what do you think is going to be the song of the summer, like at this point? Or just because summer is kind of coming up, we've had, it's March now. Boom, boom, boom. And also I feel like it doesn't really start at January. Back outside, boys. For real. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of stuff like that dropped, what, in like November? Yeah. That's always the cool, I think, about music too. Like the back, like the stuff that's at the back end of the year that kind of people are still playing beginning yeah. of the year type. And like the summer, like you said. So if y'all have any, or if you think any will still have yet to come out, maybe that's also kind of a answer to And maybe who do you think it might be? To to be 20, 20 weeks on a chart to, you know, what is what it would have to be to, you know, really be banging in the summertime. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't think anything I'm listening to now is gonna sustain to the summertime for real. Dang. Yeah. How long does stuff last in, for in the, the rotation? Mean, for you or for like the, the mainstream? The, yeah. For the world. Like you know, I could be playing album for two years, but you know, nobody <laughs> else ain't listening to that. So I'm saying, like, for the mainstream, actually, I really couldn't tell you because I don't even like the Apple Music like top 100. Okay. I've never once clicked on it. I have once or twice. I definitely yeah. a couple of times. Or like the hip hop playlist. I just like to know. Like, I, yeah, got exactly. I just like to stay informed. I got to know what's hot. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be on there. I'll be like, people are, this is still like number seven. Like, Yeah, no, I do be shocked by that. Yeah. It's, it's some often. super old little baby songs that I haven't yes, listened to for like Yes, it's always little baby just months. somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? this isn't even one of your best songs. Like, yeah. <laughs> get out of here. No, facts. That'd be crazy. Some stuff be on the charts like forever. Like, you ever look at like, uh, like who's listening to this? Exactly. You look at like, Man. nothing was the same. It's still within the, it'd be like still in the top 200 or something. I can't yeah. quote that, but like, I've never seen the top. That's pretty reasonable. I'm not upset about that. Or like, say, like, I mean, that, like older, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I'm not upset about that at all. No facts. That's nothing was the same. <laughs> no, literally. And you'll definitely always, always see like the controller, mm-hmm. and uh, that's crazy. Resurgences. Wizkid yeah. is on there. Gotta oh, yeah. be. Her, him and Tim's. Oh yeah. Essence definitely. One eighty nine. Yeah, that's probably gonna circle circle its way back. Yeah, for it's sure. just yeah. I think it's. I don't think we have it yet. But I also think some summers it's kind of difficult to identify. Um, I remember like one summer I was really trying to predict it. Uh, like the I think that was the summer after Hot Girl Summer. Okay. And I was just like, okay, was Meg, uh, like probably Meg and City eighteen Girls. maybe like twenty eighteen, yeah. okay. twenty seventeen. Okay. Yeah. No, I think that was eighteen. Um, it definitely wasn't anything after COVID. So that helps me. Yeah, no. Think it's, it's yeah, it was not, definitely. You know, past that point. Um, but yeah, I think it's hard to to say nowadays, especially because 
now with TikTok, like it could be anything, you know, like whichever song that gets picked up by TikTok is most likely going to be exactly. Okay. Yeah. So y'all right. like yeet, yeet. Ooh, not for I real. Actually never he actually pretty, sat he's down he's and listened solid, to a yeet song. Shout out yeah. Benny X. He he be making all of yeet's beats, and they they be going hard. I cannot even cap. Nah, he's got some good. He's got some good. This song was ready hard. Now here's a bell. Boing. I was just <laughs> saying that because I, I consider him a uh, <laughs> crazy bro. Shout out Brock for saying that. I always think about him. What do you say? He's like, I spit it off the first like a ledger man. Hey. Oh, yeah. hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that just because you said TikTok, and then I'm like, I consider him a TikTok artist. Really? And then okay. my friend, little brother, keep cussing me out every time I said he. Like, he's there's no such thing as a TikTok artist. He's an artist and he's good. I love you. <laughs> he's my Uh-oh. favorite. Uh-uh. And I'm like, you struck a chord. Sorry, right. you know, that's the kind about, of trouble yeah. I like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, finish with your thought. Step on his toes. I just don't know like who's about to drop. You know, I, yeah. I think it's uh, it's difficult to say right now because yeah. I just don't know like what big artists are upcoming in, in the works. I yeah. feel like it's gonna be Beyonce again. Okay. And whenever you have said Renaissance supposed to be dropping some more. Oh yeah, because it's right? supposed to be like a it's like a three parter. So like the Renaissance was like the first part, but it's like two other albums are supposed to come out. Yeah, um, probably probably some Beyonce though, or even even Renaissance. Whenever she like dropped those visuals, because all the time it'll people, definitely run it back people, up. People be talking Absolutely. about, oh man, like where where the it's been months. Like where are the where are the videos at? I'm like, I ain't never seen anybody like you know feed, feed for <laughs> music for someone to drop some music videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, man, hopefully that Fam Jam Four Thousand. I do love that song, bro. It just mm-hmm. it, it feel like some. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like some mm-hmm. or that sidekick mm-hmm. high key i can see that sidekick really going up the, in the beat on that time. song is so crazy i was thinking actually i was thinking like his project for me but um yeah for the but it's hard but you know world, what i'm saying like you said know, oh gonna, okay i don't know if they're gonna catch on to that they ain't gonna be yeah they ain't, they ain't gonna be hearing you mm-hmm. they ain't hearing you mm-hmm. no facts but i agree you with you man because i think it. i think it's just harder now i mean music is just so vast and it's like people get it from so many different yeah. like areas so many playlists i guess it just really depends on how the playlist looking you know what i'm saying okay. depending uh, on like what's really popping it up in these different playlists and um I got a uh, a post that I just found that's uh it's a list of uh highly anticipated albums dropping in 2023. All right, so let's I can, go. I can just list them. Uh <clears throat> there's some heavy hitters on her. Is the weekend dropping? Uh I didn't see his name. Uh Cardi B? No. Nicki uh, Minaj? No. J Cole, album name It's a Boy. Mm-mm. We need summer music. Uh Lil Wayne the Carter 6. I was wondering What's going on? He did have uh, that one Harlem shaking song. No. Where the, no. Where the love go? <laughs> Five, four, three, two. No. I let one go. No. Pow. That was everywhere for a little bit. Yeah, uh, Diddy off the grid, volume one. Yeah. That's. Maybe his son, if he mm. dropped. I'm finna say, <laughs> not for, I feel like, the populace. Uh, 50 Cent. No. That's crazy. Uh, Ace Brocky album title, Don't Be Dumb. I'm excited for that project. Excited, yeah, but, but nah. I doubt it. Travis Scott Utopia. Actually, possibly. The Travis. Now yeah, the Travis, that's, that's, possibly. that's most likely going. Uh, Lil like Uzi Vert Pink Tape. I think yeah. that. I think Uzi definitely. If it's not gone. some weird stuff. Honestly, Honestly <laughs> I just want to rock. Might, might just notes. carry through the summer. I was gonna say, even if he drop another kind of danceable <laughs> type joint like that, he might be. He might be okay. And dance movie because it is the wave. High key. High key. Is, that's, uh, just, that's a story. Is Pink like Pantress dropping? Uh, oh yeah, she's another one. Ice Prince or Pink Panthers Ooh, drop. Probably. Absolutely, they gonna have something up there. The last of the big names is Pusha T and DJ Drama. Definitely not Pusha nope. T. DJ Drama's. Uh, I think his. I saw something about joke. his. Uh, He's supposed to drop out like his own. The album. artists that are gonna be on it yeah. is like crazy. So it might be something off of there. Uh, more albums rumored to come out: Denzel Curry, Yeet, Jewel Santana, Nas, Beyonce, Redman, Danny Brown, Chief Keef, Rihanna, Frank Ocean, Schoolboy Q, Ice Spice, Glorilla, Glorilla might have one. Uh, Chance the Rapper, Fabulous, Lola, huh? <laughs> maybe Chance dropped the song of the song. Royce the Five Nine, Ooh, definitely uh, shout out Royce man, Ludacris, Polo G, Polo G. Uh, Kodak Black. <laughs> That's your favorite. Man. J Electronica, Lil Yachty, and J Playboy Cardi. J Electronica definitely not dropping. If this the Playboy year. Cardi is away from this demon stuff, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bro, yeah. she was mad in that video. <laughs> that video she was so, so pissed. You talking about the one where she walked she away from the She was leaving the set. She was like, "Yeah, this is too crazy." This I don't know like if you can hear this in the background. Ah. 
<laughs> bro, he was screaming. I'm saying Yo. that was exactly how it what? went at Rolling Loud, bro. He did uh he did stop breathing, bro. It was like ever since my breathing. brother died. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> And people were so in, he really going there? No bro, way. People were in the crowd mm-hmm. losing their minds. Bro. <laughs> that man said three words, bro, and most of them were phonetics. Man, <laughs> what? <laughs> most were just ad libs, bro. So yeah. yeah, if if he off that and on some uh, dialect, maybe I say Ooh. Travis. But that's not even. It's really probably gonna be Travis. Song of the summer. Yeah. And also, we gotta know what the non um, skin folk are making this year as well. <laughs> you know, you know. Not for we, you to actually we, look up. We, we, you feel we, oh yeah, I'm about to say we were definitely yeah. talking about hip hop music that will carry through this summer. I would imagine. I was gonna say it might oh, be yeah. pop. Listen, that watermelon sugar was. I heard that a lot last summer. What is that? The Harry, Harry Styles. Styles. Yeah, it got the uh, best album of the year, man. Yeah. You live under a rock or something? What's going on? <laughs> he said, "Not my summer." <laughs> no, mm, there we go. That's we what outside, it is. <laughs> right? Back I outside, boys. That. <laughs> <laughs> that's what obviously depends on the timing because we sitting there talking about, oh, probably Travis. Travis might drop like December in the fall. <laughs> and right? No, I'm saying end of the year. So, Utopia. We'll see. I would like it to be Jermaine Cole, but man. Uh, Jermaine. I mean, like, it's going to be Cole. a good album, but I highly yeah. doubt, you know. Well, I, just, I don't highly doubt, but judging based off of how the off season was, it's like none of them songs really could summer, contend no. for, yeah, like summer, a song summer. of summer. Yeah, I listened to that album probably like four times. Probably my least to listen to Jake. Really? Yeah. yeah. I feel like absolutely, absolutely. the whole album, yeah. not too much, but Hunger on Hillside. That's a fire song, bro. That's, that's one of his best songs. Wow. Hands down. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you. Revisit that. You, need, you in particular would love that song. If you really listen to what he's saying, <laughs> you'd be like, I could conquer the world, bro. Wow. I like That's a song I come back to like when I need to pick me up, when I need to be like, this life is tough right now. Hey Ben, you that's inspired crazy. me. To listen to that song. I'd be like, wow, can't be afraid of man. Ooh, that's a good question. Go what's listen y'all... to that true to self, man. But keep going. No, I was gonna ask, like, what, what, what's your pickup song? All the pain I think you will man. find mine to be very <laughs> surprising. Michael Jackson, like Jackson Five, something. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Yo, pick me up song like define that. Your pick me up song. Um, what, what do you mean by? Yeah, me I don't know. I might because I sometimes I need a variety of types of pick me ups. Like exactly. sometimes I just need like literal energy, mm. and I just you know want to put on like Playboy Cardi or Uzi or something that. And also sometimes I need to like feel like it's summer, and so I'll listen to something from like that. summer sixteen or something yeah. that like literally was just like very integral to that time of my life, um, or you know like something tied to some specific experience where there's like man i really just love this concert or like man. stick like i come back to stick sometimes when i need to pick me up because of the energy <laughs> but also stick. because like <clears throat> dreamville fest last year that was just like such a moment because that you know that project dropped right before right dreamville before fest it. so like, like the I'm energy so behind that song was Crazy. just like incredible we so stuff like that jet. yeah like it i don't know it, it can vary <laughs> And then also sometimes I just need like some brass tracks, you know, because I'm just like, wow, what a simple mm. and like joyous time of my life, you know, mm. like so I don't know, it can vary. I I, I don't stress by nip. Really? Mm-hmm. You on your Jonathan Majors? I mean, low key. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was tight that he was playing so much uh, Nipsey Hustle in that movie, bro. That was pretty fire. Diamond Dane. Diamond Dane. <laughs> but no, I definitely like checkmate. Usually, <laughs> I actually have a very similar experience where. Nine times out of ten, if I'm really like in a certain mind state and I'm trying to break out of it, I listen to something like that. Mm. Uh, just to, just something that's kind of like more intense. I actually listen to it and listen to the words, and I'm like, "All right, Brett, let's let's get back to it." But I also do, I do, I, I do, I do. Lately, have been loving a good uh, Drake song. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hey, bro, I'm just saying. I saw you post the girls at Beyonce the other day. Oh yeah, yeah. that was like the the, that was name. Like the name. Yeah, that one's good too. But I'm talking more like nothing was the same. Has been on, in rotation lately. I used to listen to too, uh, too much all the time, bro. Ooh, I used to, I used to, I used to last song. Connect on it, man. On it. Doom. Doom. Absolutely. Doom. Wait, that song. That's a good Isn't song, bro. Amazing. Yes, yeah. bro. Yeah. The only issue with that song is that it feels like it was made at the time it was made. 
<laughs> no, yeah. fact. but it's an issue with a lot of his older stuff. I'd be like, this song is so good Swing and it. it's still good. <laughs> but if it was made now, oh, it'd be so much better. I just know it would. Uh, pick me up. And if you don't, if you don't have one, that's cool too. When I, I be in the gym, I got certain songs I do big lifts. Go ahead. I was gonna say I had some um, kind of similar. If it's like kind of just like a positivity kind of thing, I mean, I listen to like some older stuff. Like sometimes I be listening to some Stevie. Um, I like to listen to like um, mm. some like the Gab Band, low key. Like yeah. that was, you were saying was five heartbeats for me. Come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was pretty, that was a pretty good one, bro. Like what other the stuff heck? like that. No, the Gab Band is a good one. I have one of their vinyls. No, yeah. oh, that's tight. Yeah, heck yeah, bro. Um, mostly, yeah, it's kind of like more vibe, like kind of chiller stuff like that. But definitely, if there's like some more, like I might play that, like that two phone shorty that Rob Banks. Ooh-wee. That song is just pure adrenaline, bro. <laughs> that's just un- you want to listen to some some that's gonna just have you like mm. on the edge of your seat. Oh, that's crazy, Booty bro. Scraping the seat, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> if I'm uh if I'm on some like nostalgic stuff, I do I go Luther because that was my pop's favorite artist. Mm. But Oofa. the that's song valid. in specific was uh uh um having a party. Ooh, Bad that's Boys. A good that's a good that, That's also the intro to uh, House Party One. And that's my favorite movie of all time. Mm-hmm. So, uh, when I so you it, definitely went rocking with the remake. I, mean, I still I mean, haven't, see haven't it. seen it. Yeah, I it's not HBO. It's on HBO now. That's my favorite, like hip hop centric movie for sure. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like this bad boys having a party. I'll be in there. <laughs> like, this boy's <laughs> late. But um, if I'm in the gym and I'm finna do like a really big lift, like yeah, like uh, like like you might die. Yeah, I'm definitely putting on. Three headed goat, because that was my password for the Wi Fi of my apartment <laughs> last, last time. That's funny. Sheesh, but, bro. Uh, that by uh, Lil Dirk Baby and Polo G. Um, or I'll put on Drake. I'll go to that uh, if you're reading this is too late, because that's kind of like his darker album. Mm-hmm. And I'm on there just energy or 10 bands. I was going to say those two. Hey, two eighty. Those ones. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's usually how I get to the next level. I'll be ascending. <laughs> And speaking, I guess, of the house party, I recently was watching a uh, uh, paid in full literally last night, and I think that's probably one of my favorite. Like, I consider it to be Very like a classics. black classic black movie. Yeah, my it, body don't work the same. B, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a killer man. You be I. You be I. Shot every day. <laughs> and with that, I guess, do y'all have a favorite like classic black movie or classic? I don't know how else to really describe it because. Paid in full, you you can go into like the drug movies. I love which the game, a whole man. thing. Exactly, that's a game. that's a good. Paid in full is a good. It one, is bro. a really good one. But I say, I'm um, saying, is they still gonna love me, man? As I, <laughs> I, I really felt that when you said that. Shit. I'm saying, bro. As I get older, I like the wood like more and more. Ooh, I, I gotta think. rewatch that for sure. I feel like, especially like in the, I guess in the time like where we are now, like I don't know, it just hit, and I can kind of relate to like move into like a like a new kind of area and stuff and kind of like making some friends and them kind of like having to put me hip to like a lot of stuff or us being mm. like us us being like close really kind of helped kind of define like kind of that time or help you know what I'm saying shape that time for me so it's great yeah I, I just kind of like it plus I don't know the way it was shot and just the whole thing it was it was pretty cool I got kind of uh, I was gonna say kind of a lame answer <laughs> but um, it's not super hood classic but yeah, you can um, say Boomerang or some Eddie no, Murphy movie. No, I was just going to say ATL. Oh, Come on, bro. Yeah, okay. I just really just enjoyed that movie. And I just like the stylistic, like the way they shoot, like the skating and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's just, just it like, a cool movie. It, it really <laughs> set the scene um, and just kind of like, you could tell they truly were trying to embody ATL, like the yeah. actual city and culture and all of that um, while still telling a story. You know? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was in there. I was fucked up. He had, uh, he was I was just, uh, he was spilling milk. the milk. On <laughs> yeah, literally, had Jazzy, I know that. Who Jazzy I think it is. Faye was in that movie too. Yeah. I'm like, come on, man. man. Like they they were really tapped in, bro. Yeah, it was a fun movie for sure. And also, that was one of those movies that like I wasn't allowed to watch for a while. And uh, I don't know. Was, you know, you just have those movies that you just like you wish you could talk about or you wish you could really engage with other people that had already seen it or whatever. It was like one of those. And when I finally okay. saw it, I was like, ah, like I need somebody to talk to now. <laughs> it was, I need it, some discourse. It's, <laughs> no, facts. it's not a black movie, but I was for sure that way with uh, the hangover. Yeah. Oh, I feel, like I, I feel yes. like I watched that way after every, yes. like, like I caught it like on HBO or yes. something. I was like, 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, man. Especially Step Brothers. But for me, it was like, I- I've seen things that I can't talk about <laughs> at that age anyway. I'm oh, like, ah, if I talk about this, I don't know where this conversation goes. Like, who go. can I have this conversation with? Exactly. Right? Thank who, you. Who my age am I about to sit here and talk to about this, bro? <laughs> These very adult topics. Exactly, and I'm in middle bro. school. <laughs> <laughs> they talking about dog. I got to tell somebody. <laughs> they talking about I got to tell somebody about what you mind, said. Bro. They about what the heck? You got one? Uh, I was gonna say, um, well, gonna be my, a basketball movie. mine was uh, already um, house party. Oh, right, right, right. That. Sorry. But honorable mentions, uh, Juice. Okay. Yes, that was a great movie. Young Omar Epps and Tupac, and then, um, uh, uh oh, it was just on this list. It just reminded hey, me. Hey, I'm gonna say another one for you in Go time, ahead. bro. I'm gonna say Above the Rim is also an honorable mention mm-hmm. of mine. That's a good yeah, one. That's so. probably that's probably my favorite uh, basketball movie, though. Definitely, I think that one was. Shout out Tommy Shepard. This is also kind of random, but kind of connected. Recently saw uh, the Five Bloods mm-hmm. on oh, Netflix. Easy. Yeah, and that was my first time seeing it like last week, and mm-hmm. I was like, I actually really, really like this movie. And was very kind of surprised. I don't know. I didn't know what to expect from it. Shout out Spike. You know, Boys in the Hood. It was also number one. I was thinking of Boys in the Hood. That's for sure. That's a good one too. Specifically, why um, is because the Lawrence Fishburne scene where he's talking to them and stuff like that. And he was like, "Why you think you see a, a liquor store? Why you see? Why you think you see a liquor store in every corner in the hood? But then you know, you just describing the differences of mm-hmm. you know prejudice and stuff like that at a really, you know." Early time for me, you know, we watched the movie. We probably like six or seven for the first time. So you just sitting there, just like, hold on, really thinking. Mm. He really just put some game on them so crazy. Like, <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne was sauced up in them. The, my favorite scene might be that last one where you know Trey came back in. He had the blood on him. He kind of looked at him and then just went back to his room because I'm like, Dad, did he think he actually like killed him? Killed him, dudes? Did he think like he did the right thing? Like, oh, we. It was super like open ended, and I always like even when I was younger, I was like, "Dang, like what? What was what was going through his mind?" Yeah, <laughs> and then he was just like, "I gotta know." I don't know. Like my my stereotypical perspective on a black father is what like Lawrence Fishburne was definitely in. Like even in that moment, like I'm various like, styles. Yeah, I'm like my dad. He probably would have did the same thing. Like he'd probably be like, "This boy's <laughs> crazy." <laughs> Talking about what? I, am, I have mm. blood on me. Like, yo, I want you to be concerned. This is about, the there's only so much I can do. Oh, yeah. Man, talk about he's, he's off the deep end. <laughs> 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 he lost it. He's too um, far gone. Before we, we wrap up, I just want to bring this idea up. And this is not much of a topic, which is why I was waiting to the end. Um, but I was going to originally, this is why I wasn't going to talk about Daylight Saving Time because I was going to use it as a segue. But Daylight Saving Time is just really funny to me how it just a, it's such a glaring reminder of you know like how our bodies just have their own rhythm you know like there's uh what is it the, oh circadian, circadian rhythm, rhythm when it comes to like how you sleep and when you just naturally fall asleep when you naturally wake up and when that gets disrupted it is like awful um but i just want to discuss all the other a- aspects of <laughs> of like how that can play into day-to-day life um one of the first things that i think about is definitely bathroom proximity and just that overall effect of just like why do i have to go to the bathroom more and more the closer i get to the bathroom you know what i'm saying like yeah when you like leave a location and you'll be like i should have went to the bathroom i'm gonna just you know i'll be fine i can Mm -hmm. hold it but something as like you are literally getting closer to your house something is just (laughs) ticking i feel like it's something in your mind that must be like making you it's the connection that knows like oh okay i am seven minutes away i'm gonna release soon be prepared that's what i'm saying (laughs) about to blow (laughs) my body is beginning to prime all of the (laughs) the the uh process that needs to (laughs) notice there was a change (laughs) exactly um so that's just one of the things i just find like one of those real weird phenomenons about being alive um but yeah what are some other things that you know you may have recognize i know you were talking about like <laughs> the timing of, i always uh, had to use the bathroom right in the morning and right within the first 20 minutes of practice in high school mm. so it was just like it was so terrible because coach did not play that he if you go to the bathroom like he'd be like i'm gonna make them run until you get back from the bathroom since you want to disrespect my practice by trying to leave in the two hour span we have i'm like 
I'm regular. <laughs> nothing I can do. That's what I used to have to always. I had to. We used to call it the pregame dump before every single orientation. <laughs> when I was working for orientation, and it would be so early, we would get up Them so pre-game early, pregame jitters, and like it would be right <laughs> when we were about to open check in, and it was just like. But what's funny is it wasn't just me; like it was some it's other people on the team, Ripping and that's what that's what I'm saying. And I think I think it was largely due to like we got free like breakfast like super duper early, so we would eat the breakfast. But literally by the time we were ready to check in, like we were all in the bathroom like every ah. single orientation. Oh, gotta go! And it's, it's one of those. It's one of those that's like I will not have opportunity to go to the bathroom for like hours so like i have to take care of this now <laughs> handle that business exactly nah, man. um i'm trying to think of something i'll be real i don't know I, i'm sure there's like a scientific thing for it but those weird like i don't say like body shutters you begin sometimes or sometimes like your body almost like hit like a weird like reset or something like it's kind of <laughs> like like it's like a weird. You shit, ever like, just begin them weird sharp pains out of nowhere. Yo, bro. yo, chest. Yeah. Yes. yes, bro. I'll be like, like what's I'm going dying. On? That's the other one. As too, a kid, sure, I really bro. did think I was this like, not okay, Am I living on borrowed time? <laughs> like, you know, is the end like, coming? Like, These are just light pains. When is it a big? Or, pain? The, or the ones <laughs> where like you inhale too hard and it's like Ooh. in your back all of a sudden. You're just yeah. like, whoa, like what is? My yeah. lungs not working. We're like, when you eating too fast, you get heartburn. Man, <laughs> that's just, you probably just eating too much I like acidic eat. stuff. Like that's uh, largely, yeah. <laughs> I just eat like Goku, bro. I just eat fast. That too, yeah. It's it's no matter what you give me, I bet you I can finish it in three minutes. Oh, why would you make that bad? Like this is not a competition. <laughs> no, I'm just, like food is like, not running I'll be away. I eating like it's my last meal. That's what my mom used to say. Damn, goodness gracious, food ain't running from you, man. Yeah. I learned that yeah. now. <laughs> oh, it finally, it finally didn't run. <laughs> I know. Yo. Ooh, yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, those random software <laughs> updates definitely are a little like strange. This, I'm like, dang, bro. Do your, <laughs> eye, do your eyes twitch ever? Like, oh, I hate it. I hate when your eyes. It's twitch. the absolute worst. And they always say it's because of stress or because of lack of sleep. Yeah, sleep. yeah sleep. Listen, well, if that's the case, I should have them all the time. Why do they just show up <laughs> randomly? What's up with that? I, I live in a constant <laughs> state of fatigue, so something's not right. <laughs> so, exactly. There has to be some other reason unrelated as sorry, to why my eye just not, started twerking. Not to pivot too fast, sorry, but do you guys believe in those things that where it's like if you're uh they be saying just random your, like your superstition yeah like money money's coming, coming or yes, it's like your, what is it where it's like somebody's talking about you if like your ear rings or like your ear itches or something you like that. I think when you sneeze if somebody talking about when you. you sneeze when you sneeze someone if your I ear think, itch i think that's a money thing too okay yeah. i thought it was oh, step on a crack itch. you break your mama back man put that it out of commission oh my God. Was crucial out of commission <laughs> some kids was really that was that affected they do them, that? bro. They was not Stop stepping on, on a single track. I will track. kill you. They was like, I love my <laughs> right. mother. They was like, I love my mother, bro. I would never, never do that. I would never do that to her, bro. Why do you, why, why why do you hate your mom? As soon as <laughs> I say somebody. You see, you see your man's just stepping on I'm every just, crack. Bro, what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're losing more and she more respect for him, this. bro. Do you know what you've done? <laughs> <laughs> she devastated, bro. You literally losing your mom. It's not even your mama, bro. You're on the ground. That's what I'm saying. She don't deserve that, bro. That's not cool. <laughs> but I'm yeah, saying, the the itchy palms. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, some of them. I know if it's real, but I'm like a believe in I like just that for one. out of manifestation. Absolutely, <laughs> that's what I'd be like. Money is coming my way. Itch uh, more. Go crazy. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Like, uh, you wouldn't want to bring an inside broom, like. No, an outside broom inside, or like if you're moving somewhere, don't what take your old broom. broom. If you're oh. moving somewhere, don't take your old one to the new one because you don't want to bring the old issues and whatever was in that past house I've never heard I've heard, that. I, I think i have heard of that i only heard of it because when i moved into my current spot i don't know i was just trying Can to I be, bring your bro yeah and they was like <laughs> well, this is much i bought it that? Uh, say, this is financial choice I said, damn i'm sorry all right fiscal responsibility we'll broom. exactly <laughs> <laughs> But that's seven ninety nine worth of broom. <laughs> bro, <laughs> literally, <laughs> man. Hey, yo, javelin tossed that thing. He was like, "Yeah," but I can't think of too many other ones. I'm not super, super. St- yeah, I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious with the money. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. It might be a good uh, spot. Okay. I don't know if y- y'all got I'm another one. To think if I got one, oh. I got one more in me. 
<laughs> super with Vince Carter. I mean, I don't believe in that splitting the polls though. We are, yeah, we yeah. talked about that. Hey, shout out, shout out y'all on TikTok for blowing that video up. Right, right. Hey, that boy had 10K likes. Yeah, was y'all was really surprised. going crazy. That was hey, that I, is definitely like pretty low on the on, on the funny scale, in my opinion. But honestly, hey, I mean, if you if you like that, you will love other stuff. Man, <laughs> oh, I'm saying we have a lot. We got other hits stuff that are sitting too. at 32 likes. On Man. me, <laughs> uh, two hundred views, three hundred views, <laughs> two hundred, two hundred sixty-seven. I'm like, views. I'm like, this is my personal favorite. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all missing out. Man, said, this is the one you need to play. Actually, though, do you guys ever think about how? This, okay, this may just be a stupid thought, but black cats. I do be afraid of that though. Why? I'm no. just not. I'm not a huge fan of cats. If they just cross your path, to mean bad luck and stuff. So you don't believe in? I don't believe in splitting that. the pole, but. I feel like it's real convenient for it to be the black cats. I'm just saying. You know? So I don't don't like that one. Now they're good luck. Thanks, Troy. I've I've fixed my train of thought. My brother. (laughs) (laughs) My (laughs) niggas. And EGUS. But um, the other thing is kind of crazy how... How many many test runs do you think we went through to get, like, what we call a small? Or to get what we consider, like... Like the sizing of... Um, I don't know if it was test runs necessarily, but I feel like it was just like. Is it strange to you that we have a you we have we, that we have universal sizes? I don't think it's strange because I think at some point someone just recognized that we needed to make like a pretty consistent system. Mm. I do think I am curious of like what that looked like in terms of what someone was like. These are the dimensions that <laughs> <laughs> identifies as small on average. Right. You talk um, about clothing, yes. correct? Okay, correct. I thought you was talking about like. Just the drink concept. sizes, oh. you know, like small, medium, large at a restaurant. Oh, them things going crazy. I remember That's when they small, fluctuate, like they fluctuate quite checkers, man. A medium at checkers is medium. like an XL. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is a lot of juice. The, the <laughs> class, no, one, no wonder it's three dollars. The classic $3. line is, Well, what the large look like? <laughs> you know, <laughs> every time, every time, then be about like, to Hand me a bucket. No, um, no, because then you look and be like, The large only a dollar more. I mean. Let's see what it looks like. Right. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> as far as the clothing thing, though, I don't know. But you know, you just don't. You don't want to be. If you're small, you don't want to be like identify as small. Like oh, this, I can. I wear smalls. Ugh. Or Why even not? <laughs> dang, bro. I don't know. Some There's people, some smalls out there, man. And I'm, and I'm saying, <laughs> people wearing <laughs> small t <tea> right now. <laughs> like, somebody somebody like, listening. A like whole. <laughs> they listening to small. Right. Exactly. Like, maybe I'm wearing a small. Like like me, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm a large man and I, I refuse to it just to be large for so long. I'm just like, I really want to be a medium. Like you're a fucking large thing. You could like, probably you never just, ever get to like a medium. Yeah, no matter or, or a small. I could or really never get a small. Definitely Literally, never like a small. even if it was just my bone, like it's already too <laughs> much. Like, Not your big bone did. <laughs> well, I'm big boned bone. <laughs> my, bone, my bone density levels off the charts. Go check out Z Breeze uh, three. Right, all the body scans. There he knows. <laughs> I know this is the fact. I have the science. Me. It's like my bones are like three times the average size. Wow, you're gonna be like That's the crazy. six million crazy. dollar man, bro. They gonna rebuild you. Hey, hopefully I become. A super soldier, the summer soldier to be exact. There we go. But yeah, I do. Saginaw soldier. Mm-hmm. I also think they probably just had to dumb it down because obviously we do still have certain, you know, like elements of clothing, like shoes or more like dressier pants that are gonna literally just, tar- you know, like it's judged by the actual length yeah. measurements. It's probably a bell curve. But no, I think about it. It is certain different Maybe, fits. Yeah. Like some XLs don't feel like XL. Some larges fit. Like different sizes, some mediums big as hell. You know yeah. what be Bro. killing me though? Like the baby sizes when it's like four months. Forty six. What? What do you? How do you know? Like <laughs> exactly. What are you talking about? Like it's really in months. I'm buying sixteen. Yeah, like there's t- like children's clothes that's like size at sixteen months. Yeah, literally. Oh. That's crazy. They took a baby at sixteen months. It's like, mm. the <laughs> well, took tape, about right. Tape measure out was like. All okay. babies are this size got at you, 16 you, months. I don't care. <laughs> if my baby this size, Fight me. your baby going to be this size. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's interesting. That is one thing that has always thrown me off. But I'll cross that bridge when I when I get there. And it's probably still going to frustrate me. Like my baby is 24 months, and you're telling me you're fitting into an 18? You're trying to say I got a little baby. <laughs> you're right. This is, a, this is a new athlete right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a superstar. Do not play with me. Put some respect on my child. Yeah. Respect on my name. These are this, these are pianist fingers. <laughs> <laughs> this little Literally. finger, this little glove. <laughs> His brain big. <laughs> this little glove. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah. yeah. And that's the show, folks. 
Um, appreciate y'all tuning in, man. You know, uh, this is we're getting to the end of March. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just make this statement, and we're not going to talk oh about it. But like, hit it, bro. Say what's on your mind. Like, are are kind of small, medium, large, or is it just like normal and large? <laughs> like, what is it? <laughs> That what? Was, that was not what Are I was they small, medium, say, large, bro. or is it just normal Regular. and large? <laughs> you know, Magnum is large, so it's just like it's just normal and large. Cause that's just like the staple. You know, that's like the Hennessy of condoms. <laughs> <It's just laughs> oh like God. people just be like, yeah, like no, I still got the mag on me. And now I'm gonna try again. And that's all, folks. That's, <laughs> that's the show. That's the <laughs> okay, show. <dude. laughs> I don't know, bro. Yeah, I can't even. Fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, man, Z Breeze signing out, man. Go ahead and take that question to Google if you want. I don't know the answer to it. Put it in the comment section for all I care. But um, yeah. <laughs> please have a debate the same way y'all debated uh, the what was it the splitting the pole splitting the pole splitting man the pole. I think that's a little more entertaining right that's what y'all be looking for unwholesome content small medium large or <laughs> normal large or average normal large. <laughs> average is large default know. but March signing out and signing out of yeah the end of this month I hope you had some prosperity I hope you know good things happen to you you got some clarity. And if anything, hey, the rest of this year, we turn it up. Indeed. It's supposed to be summer, man. I'm saying. I know here where we at. Uh, Back outside, boys. Despite the daylight savings kicking bends, but And I will admit, also. To Fight back. My Fight back. Back. Having some getting used to. But the you know the good part of it is that it's lighter for longer, it bro, and that that feels good. So the weather finally breaking for real. It was a little cold. Today, That's though. another like rhythmic thing I think for us. Like you just naturally start to feel better as it starts warming Facts. up. Like sick. Cyclic- that Cyclically. first day of spring, I said, "Wow, I'm." A, it really is spring. Who am I? Whoa, I'm glowing now. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm signing out. My Hope old friend Joy. Day. No facts. Bro. Out of here. Yo, we got Wavy J, man. Another great episode. In the books. Hey, look that stuff up Zach was talking about. Man. For real, bro. Put it in the let, comments. Let them know what you let them know what you Be educated think, out here. Let me know what you, know what you find. Let me know what you find. <laughs> know what you find. <laughs> Don't go searching too hard mm-hmm. though. <laughs> what? That's all I'm gonna say. And uh this is Benjamin Lane signing out as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I that's it. I was about to say some child. Oh no, you shot the same thing. Where's your mom's at?